Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Wednesday edition of Live at Five. I'm Sierra McQueen Fowler. In the past two days, you may have noticed hearts going up in windows of local businesses, school, and government buildings. The paper heart started appearing Monday afternoon and continued Tuesday with residents across the county joining in and marking their front doors of their homes. The Richmond County Chamber of Commerce and the Richmond County Tourism Development Authority have teamed up for hashtag a world of hearts an outreach project during the time of uncertainty surrounding the coronavirus pandemic. Chamber President Emily Tucker said this was a way for us to join together and say we are in this together and we will get through this together and because of social distancing we are all waving back at each other. We are all here still working for this great community. Several Richmond County restaurants are still providing food to customers but with limited staff due to social distancing guidelines from local, state, and federal health officials. Others have closed until further notice putting cooks and wait staff out of work. After today, more people will be out of work following Cooper's executive order on Monday shutting down more businesses where staying at least six feet away from each other is virtually impossible. The Facebook page, hashtag World of Hearts, was started by Mandy Gill of Bismarck, North Dakota, during the family's fourth night of social distancing, according to Inforum.com. Within 48 hours, the page had more than 100,000 followers. There is also a Canadian hashtag World of Hearts page. Both feature photos of paper hearts on doors across the continent. If you or your business has put up hearts in your windows, you can send those into the Richmond Observer's Facebook page, as well as being featured many during our Live at Five weather reports. Two more schools paraded through their districts Wednesday morning following the lead of L.J. Bell Elementary. Teachers from Monroe Avenue and Mineral Springs Elementary schools both visited the neighborhoods of their students. The Mineral Springs parade left school at 10 a.m. and drove by the Berry Patch and is seen here passing by Ellery Middle School. The convoy with an escort led by the Richmond County Sheriff's Office was led by a convertible with the school's mascot. More than 20 other cars, trucks, and vans followed behind with teachers waving pom-poms out of the windows. Students were encouraged to gather at the middle school, Berry Patch, and Food King to watch the parade. The Monroe Avenue Parade began at 9 a.m. and Fairview Heights has one scheduled for Friday afternoon at 1 p.m. COVID-19 is heightening the need for a ready blood supply as businesses and schools continue to shut down across the nation. On Monday, Robert L. Baptist Church did its part in helping to bring in donors while practicing social distancing at the same time. Linda McKenzie, who has been coordinating blood drives at the church for 20 years, was passed the torch from the previous organizer and has been working ever since to help blood reach those who need it most. Since working with the organization One Blood since 2007, 17, the two entities have been able to do that in Richmond and Moore counties. Other blood drives have been canceling due to the coronavirus outbreak, but according to the FDA, the virus does not pose any known risk to blood donors during the donation process or from attending blood drives. The goal, according to organizers, was originally 18 donors with 36 time slots available. They quickly filled up, so McKenzie added more with that number jumping to 50. Gary Brandt, account representative with One Blood, said in an email that of the 51 who signed up, 48 were registered in their system. Brandt went on to say that they collected 38 units of blood, and with each unit being broken down into three products, these 38 units could touch 114 lives. Those giving blood were given a $20 e-gift card and an aluminum bottle from One Blood. The next drive at Robert L. Baptist is slated to take place on Monday, May 18th in the Church's Fellowship Hall. Two Richmond Senior High School soccer players are taking the term teamwork to a whole nother level. Seniors Cole Dean and Lee Hayden, who have been Raider teammates the last four years, are filling their time during the current school closures by taking to the skies over Richmond County. The duo is currently working toward earning their private pilot's license and something many high schoolers and people in general only often dream about. During a career day seminar at Richmond in mid-December, Dean and Hayden sat in on a session 
hosted by Alan Sowell, a commercial pilot and captain for United Airlines. Based on Sowell's description of what a career as a pilot entailed, both seniors decided to start logging hours in the classroom and at the airport. With the help of Jason Paracas, Richmond CTE Career Development Coordinator, Dean and Hayden arranged a fourth flight internship at the Richmond County Airport starting in early January. Also coordinating the effort was Jason Ganey, the airport's manager. Both Raiders are looking to continue their young flying careers when they head off to college in the fall as both are considering attending Middle Georgia State University. The university located in Macon is known for its aviation school. Hayden is also considering playing soccer for the Knights and added that the guidance by Ganey and the other instructors at Richmond, Community, Richmond County Airport are giving them a step up on their college education. The progression for the two teammates and the future flyers will see them continue to log hours in the classroom and in the sky. They're working toward their PPL which requires them to have at least 40 flight hours. Certified Nurses Day was nationally recognized last week to honor board certified nurses across the nation who have advanced their careers. Now more than ever, First Health celebrates their 346 board certified nurses who work across the First Health system for their professionalism, leadership, and commitment to excellence in patient care. Board certification of nurses plays an increasingly important role in the assurance of high standards of care for patients and their loved ones. Nursing like healthcare in general has become increasingly complex. While an RN license provides entry to general nursing practice, the knowledge intensive requirements of modern nursing require extensive education as well as a strong personal commitment to excellence by the nurse. First Health wants everyone to join them and the nation's national nursing certification organizations in honoring those hardworking, dedicated nurses for their professionalism and a job well done. As Richmond County continues to steer clear of positive COVID cases, North Carolina sees one nearby county take an extra step to combat their increasing coronavirus cases. Mecklenburg County will now be under a stay-at-home order beginning on Thursday. According to their news release, the order will require county residents to remain in their homes for the next 21 days in an attempt to reduce the number of COVID-19 infections within the county. Exceptions will be allowed for those seeking medical treatment, buying food, or exercising outdoors. The new release went on to state that essential workers will be allowed to travel to work. The order will be enforced by the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department and the police departments of the six towns in Mecklenburg County. In a frequently asked questions file on mecnc.gov, any person violating any probation, prohibition or restriction imposed by this order shall be guilty of a class two misdemeanor. The file also provides information for those who live outside of Mecklenburg County but work within that businesses must comply with that order. Travel through the county is still open and non-residents can still conduct essential business. When we return, we've got your Live at Five weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes. Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience and financing is available right on site. 
So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Do you want a healthcare career? Certified medical assistants are multi-skilled healthcare professionals capable of completing administrative and clerical tasks, making them a valuable member of the healthcare team at medical clinics, doctor's offices, and other healthcare facilities. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the employment of medical assistants is projected to grow 23% over the next eight years, much faster than the national average. At Richmond Community College, our medical assisting students are trained in our cutting edge simulation learning center, giving them hands-on experience with high fidelity mannequins that simulate real life patient interaction. In addition to clinical skills, our students also receive instruction in scheduling appointments, coding, processing insurance accounts, billing, collections, and medical transcription. Complete the medical assisting program in just two years and start your lifelong career today. Visit www.richmondcc.edu to learn more about enrolling in the Medical Assisting Program at Richmond Community College or call 910-410-1700. Your Live at Five weather report is brought to you by R.O. Yellow, Richmond County's new online business directory. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. It has been pretty fantastic outside. Uh, not really any threats of rain today, uh, despite having that predicted for today. But looking at the night, though, we are expecting to continue to see nice weather. Uh, 7 o'clock, 64 degrees with sunshine. Uh, sunset will be at 7.35, so you can see that sunset tonight. 9 o'clock, it will be still clear skies. The moon will be out, 56 degrees. Uh, so pretty decent temperatures for tonight. And if you look at tomorrow, we are expecting wonderful weather again. Uh, party cloud skies across the entire Santa Hills region. Of course, with this nice weather does mean pollen is still going to be around. And you can bet that there's going to be a lot happening uh, within the next 24 hours for sure, populating the ground. And uh, with the seven day forecast, we'll get to that here in just a moment. But with really no rain to wash that away up, coming up very soon, uh, it's going to be quite a uh, really busy day or busy week for many uh, who have to deal with allergies. So, but Fayetteville is going to be a high of 65, low of 53. Rayford will be seeing a high of 66, low of 53. Down in Robson County will be a high of 66, low of 54. Scotland County will be seeing a high of 67, low of 54. Or with Moore County, it will be a high of 65, low of 54 there. Moving into Richmond County, LRB will be seeing a high of 67, low of 53. Rockingham and Hamilton will be seeing a high of 67, low of 53 there as well. Venezuela will be seeing a high of 68, low of 55. And across the PD in Waysboro, it will be a high of 66 and a low of 54. Once again, party five skies across the entire Sand Hills. And it's going to be the case for the next couple of days, at least all the way up until Tuesday. But before we get to there, let's talk about what's happening right now ahead. Thursday, party cloud skies with a high of 67, low of 53. Friday looking really nice as well. Uh, really a big jump in the high. It'll be a high of 82 and a low of 64. Saturday continuing into the mid 80s. High of 85, low of 69. Part of the skies. Sunday looking right about the same. High of 85, low of 56. And then on Monday, part of the skies with a high of 76 and a low of 56. Then Tuesday, we are expecting a uh, between a 30 to 50 percent chance of precipitation be a high of 66, low of 52, and then a 50% chance still on Wednesday with a high of 68, low of 51. So again, with those high temperatures coming up, especially this weekend, um, pollen is going to be out quite a bit, so be prepared for that. Uh, luckily, Tuesday and Wednesday, promising some rain to wash that away for us, and we'll repeat that process once again, uh, as pollen doesn't really seem to be letting up anytime soon. Uh, but definitely be looking forward to just a little bit of rain to wash that away just enough 
to get that out of our system, hopefully. But again, uh, just be mindful of that coming up. And that's going to do it for Lot 5 Weather Report and for tonight's edition of Lot 5. Of course, for the latest news and events happening here in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Lot 5 crew, I'm Rachel Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.